Hello, it's Nick from Zatu Games. Today I'm going to be playing through a solo run of the Lost Ruins of Arnak from Czech Games Edition. This is a preview copy uh, or a review copy, so it's been sent to me before uh, retail release, but it is available to pre-order on the site. Because of the nature of the board, I had to do a slightly unusual setup, but if you have any questions about the games, or if you spot the big mistake I made that actually means I probably lost the game rather than won, then uh, just stick it in the comments below. Uh, enjoy! Hello there, Zatu people. This is a slightly odd setup uh, because this is quite a long board. So uh, what I'm going to be doing today is playing through a solo game of the Lost Ruins of Arnak, which is the latest game from uh, Czech Edition Games. This is being released as we speak at Essen, I believe. Uh, I might need to double check that. Uh, and I'm going to play Solo, which is very similar to the two-player game, but with um, some slight differences. Uh, I also have a camera here for my player board, as you can see, so I can kind of show you what's going on there. Um, for my player board, I start with two archaeologists and a deck of six cards. Uh, this is deck building and worker placement. Um, and also, because I'm playing against the bot, I am always going to be the second player, so I get a coin and a compass. And my deck is made up of uh, six cards, fear cards, which can be used to travel, but are also minus one if they're still in your deck. Uh, exploration, uh, I have two uh, coin ones and two compass ones, and they have different ways of traveling, because whenever you go to a site on the board, you're going to be traveling. So I'll flip back to the main board. I also hope to use this um, rove, this little camera as a roving camera. Uh, to show you some other stuff. Um, so it might be a bit janky, but bear with me. So if we flip back to that camera again, we're gonna go, that is the solo player's board. It's on the back of every board. They have a deck of actions, which are driven by these uh, tiles, and the arrows will help make decisions. They're gonna score for uh, relics or, relics, yeah, relics and monsters or guardians and also for cards purchased. On the board we have at the very top of the board there that is like the market row for your deck building and what's interesting is you have uh, only one um, artifact I think, I can't remember relics or artifacts I'm getting them confused and then five uh, items but as the game round progresses you have more relics and less uh, Items representing your travel through the journey, your journey through the jungle to um, be more in the wilderness and less able to grab items and more able to grab uh, artifacts. Then we have all these sites which can be explored. You take a tile and create a new worker placement space. I shall see each worker placement space has to be travelled to by the relevant transport or better. And you can always use two coins to uh, become an aeroplane. An aeroplane will travel to anything. Uh, boot is the worst. Car up next. Uh, boat and then aeroplane. Uh, and then there's some pre-printed ones. And these have spaces blocked because we've played this setup for a two-player game in the uh, solo game. And then down here we have all the resources, all the level one sites, all the level two sites, all the guardians, and then the research track. And along the game, you'll be taking research actions by paying these resources here and then moving up. And you can move up into either the first time, but when you get up there, you can only go to connected ones. Depending on what you move, your compass or your book uh, will be the reward you get. But your book can only go as high as your compass and it cannot overtake it. Uh, one of the bonuses you get are assistants who can be upgraded and they will give you extra, usually free actions. Whenever you see a lightning bolt, it's a free action. As you move up the tempo, it costs more and more. Um, but if you get to the top, there's big bonuses to be had for the people who get up there. So let's flip to the general camera. If you do want a close-up zoom of anything, do let me know. I know you're getting a lot of my side beard there, but who doesn't like a good side beard? 
So we're going to go and do the uh, the AI's first action. I'll put that camera next to me. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Let's make it tall. And if we uh, there you go. So you can kind of see what's going on, but I can switch those around at any time. Um, and we will try and get it a bit straighter. Take one of these, flip it over, and this tells us that the AI will research and then uh, remove an assistant from the game. Which assistant will they move? The one on the far right. So I'll flip over the board. This is the assistant they're going to remove, so that's out of the game now. I cannot recruit that assistant. And they're also going to research via the arrow to the right. Uh, they don't take any resources during the game, they just take points. So they're already one nothing up. As far as the AI works, there are two uh, sets of cards, red and green. I have three reds in, which makes it mid-difficulty. Then I'm going to be taking my cards, and I'm going to be playing either playing cards or taking actions. Now, I do want to get some resources. To get new sites out costs stuff. I would like to get up this track as well. If I can get uh, two spears, then I can um, also get a, a, an assistant, which can help for the rest of the game. That is a good assistant there, because she lets you change gold for a spear or a ruby. Um, and then, is there any good cards? Now, when you take an item, that goes to the bottom of your deck. In fact, I've done something wrong. I've shuffled these up and taken all six instead of taking five. So, um, the way the deck building works is quite interesting. But if you take a, um, a what do you call it, one, two, three, four, five, relic or an artifact, they get activated immediately for free, but then every other time they cost uh, one of these tablet pieces to activate when you play them. And they're all, they're all worth points. That donkey's quite nice because he lets me get to draw two new cards so I can get through my hand quickly. The rope is actually a cheaper way of doing that, but the donkey does have double cards. So I think I'm going to play a free action with this uh, card to get a coin. And then I'm going to use my two coins to buy the rope up here. And this goes under my deck, so I know that in my next hand I'm going to get that rope and be able to use that action. Then this card will move closer to there, and a new one will come out. That is one of my actions, so then we go to the solo player who is blocking, with, uh, they take all the other art architects and they block the first uh, site that gives you a tablet. Uh, they will usually go highest to lowest and then by the arrow if there's multiple choices. In this case, it's very easy. The only tablet choice is there. So they get blocked there. I think next I'm gonna play, play a worker. So I'm gonna use my fear card because I only need one boot. So I've got one boot there to place a worker here and get two compasses. And the idea is then that I will be able to um, explore a new area. However, I know from previous experience that I'm gonna need some sort of spear probably to defeat a guardian if they come out. So I might leave it around. I might just get resources this time. We're back to the AI and the AI will play all 10 of their moves, even if you pass. So next they're blocking there, so it's back to me. I could get two more compasses, I could get a coin. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to research this time. Oh, that pickaxe lets me change a compass. That's quite good. I haven't got a coin, so I'm gonna play my card. It's a free action because it's got the lightning. Grab a coin, which I'm gonna to use to then buy this pickaxe, which I can get next time, and move these down. Now, at the start of the game, you will find yourself passing more and having a number of AI moves to work out. But by the end of my the five rounds, it's quite short, by the end of the five rounds, when I did a practice game last night, I lost, so this is vengeance. Uh, I was taking longer than the AI, particularly on the last three rounds. So it does kind of escalate nicely. Speaking of the AI, we just flip a thing and he's taking all the spots early on. Uh, so he's going to take a coin spot, which is nasty. So now I I don't want to use my compasses for that. I'm just going to play both my cards uh, to get two compasses. 
I'm tempted by this because it lets me draw another card, but I know it's going to be fear. Um, so I don't want to waste my compasses getting that card. I think there's better options out there. Uh, so now um, the AI will go. He is going to fight a guardian. Oh, sorry, I'll pick it up. Fight a guardian if there is one there on a spot he's in. If there is no guardian, he will research. So he's going to research. I'm saying he. Could be a she. Let's say she. The AI is a she, especially the way she whooped me last night. Now, my actions that are left are detailed on this very cool and very comprehensive turn order. Um, however, I can't. The only thing I can afford to do is buy a artifact. I don't want to. Um, they are called artifacts. Yes, relics. Artifacts got it the right way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass and play out the rest of the AI's turn. So this means uh, he will take an item of the lowest cost uh, point value, sorry, and it will be the leftmost lowest point value. So it's the pack donkey that comes out, and that's out of the game now. Oh no, that goes on to when he gets cards, they go there. Do you remember that? Yeah, I lost yesterday because of fear. I drew, but then my fear uh, gave me minus points that uh, caused a loss. So we next go to the next one of these. He's going to go. So this this time he can't go because she can't go because there are no compass spaces free. So they would do the AI would do nothing. There is one of those spaces free, even though I can't take it, just for mechanically keeping it sound. Now the this one. Uh, she is going to explore. Now what this means is she will take and she'll go to the nearest one there and this is quite interesting because this is one of the ways she scores points. She takes the top level one card. She doesn't place a guardian because of that. Uh, you will always place guardians. Places it out and then takes the relic and if, they, if she hasn't already got the relic here she will pop it there and that will be worth three points at the end. Any other uh, doubles or face down ones she gets will only be worth two. And that's kind of a balancing thing to make the AI not score too much. Uh, it works really well. And then last action is to take this uh, lowest value. Well, there's only one. Um, and if, because that's the last card, if um, I needed an arrow, I would have just flipped over the whole deck. So we're to the end of the round. I'm just going to pick up my hand dandy uh, player aid just to remind me of all the stages, but I think I remember them. Return your people. Oh, I didn't even play that one. Could have played that one. What an idiot. What an idiot. Ill inefficient moves there. Uh, I'll be shuffled. So this is the interesting bit with the deck building here. So all the cards I've used in this round now get shuffled up and added to the bottom of my deck. So I bought two cards, I had one, so I'm getting a fear and those two market cards I, I purchased, uh, and then two other cards into my hand at the start of the round. Uh, this would come out, but then it will be, that should have come out when they bought it, but the two next to the moon staff will be discarded out of the game for good, uh, onto the scrap heap there. I've got no nails. <laughs> and then this moves up, and these spaces are refilled, and you always move towards the moon staff. Uh, that one gets you a fear and a ruby or a gem. Ooh, I quite like that one. Uh, so then, what else do I need to do? Done that, refill the row, pass the start. Well, we don't pass the start marker, we just shuffle up the AI's actions. And uh, I'll try and lean back a bit. <laughs> just getting a lot of side beard here. But what a lovely side beard it is. And then I will deal myself five cards. The AI is going to take the first go again. Uh, as they were. The production value of this, this is a, a kind of first off the line, so not full. Uh, but I imagine, I can't see it being any different to retail. The production value is wonderful. And there's even some new pieces. Uh, so here we go. The AI is going to take the cheapest uh, or the 
point scoring, lowest point scoring. The red version of that allows the AI to take the, the biggest point scoring one, so you can make the game harder. Like I say, I lost by five points last night, so I've stuck at exactly the same level I played at. Now, it was a good way of me getting a scroll, uh, a tablet and a spear there, but it would cost me a, um, a car. I have a car, uh, which would mean I don't get to get the compass on it. I also can do a compass to the same effect. Now, I am planning to get a guardian out this time, so I'm going to play that to explore, to dig, it's called. There, I've matched the car, so that's fine. And then I get myself a spear and a uh, tablet, and then that is my go. I've also got the rope, which will allow me to draw two more cards. Risk drawing a fear then, but that's okay for going down there. Uh, go like this. Okay, so he's going to go on the first tablet one. So good. If I hadn't taken that space, then the AI, she would have taken it straight away after me. So yeah, I've looked out there. So let's show you an explore. I'm going to explore at level one. Um, and I have cards that uh, relics that will let me get rid. So these relics aren't very good for me. So I might go a bit higher if I can afford the travel. Um, really, it's a really good mix of uh, deck building and thingy. What's the other one? Deck building and worker placement. So I could go to one of these two. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yes, let's do that. So I'm going to play a ship. Uh, so the ship icon, if I put it down here, is at the top. So I'm playing that to explore. I'm going to take a level one from the top. This one uh, will get you one fear, one tablet and one ruby. And I'm going to go for a coin because I'm a bit light on coins. It costs me three of those. To do that move, if it had been level two, it would cost me six. I take, the I take this and I get a coin. At the end of the game, this relic is worth three points and I can use it at any point for, on one of these spaces to get one of these rewards. Now, if I cover up these spaces, I'm losing the points that they would give. So the first one cost me one point at the end of the game, second one two, but I get any of these rewards here. So if I'm a bit short of stuff, I can... Um, I can crack on with that. Uh, the other thing I need to do, oh, I need to place my person out there. Then I get the rewards. So I get a fear card into my used card pile. I get a tablet and a ruby, which is fun. And then I get a monster, a guardian. Let's see. So the guardians just fit over there. Uh, this guardian, requires a boot, a coin, and a spear to beat. And then once you've beaten them, all guardians have a one-time power that can be used at uh, certain points during the game. This one lets me use it as a, a car, basically. So I'm gonna pop him over there. If I haven't defeated that guardian by the end of the round, when I remove my player, I will get a fear. But thankfully, I did plan for this eventuality. So, um, I'm happy with that. AI's turn. One of the smoothest AI uh, things. You were looking at me. I do look interesting. I mean, that's not necessarily a compliment, Chris. So interesting is, is you know, you're still within uh, <laughs> uh, one that costs the low, one that's the least points, sea turtle. Oh no, that would have been a good one to get. See, none of the game is particularly complicated. It's the interactions again. So all these are going to move down, but I really like the interactions. Um, there's, the direct interactions you're going to have between players are for spaces, obviously, for the cards, and then racing up this track. So it's not kind of direct, direct, I'm nicking your stuff interaction, but it is that kind of race for uh, good state spots on the board. Uh, so next... I am going to play this card, Rope. So I'm going to play Rope, which means I uh, have to discard a card to get draw two more from my deck, which will potentially uh, further my go. So I'll discard my Fear, pick up two more, 
and I got uh, it worked out for me because I want that fear to go to use for this cost against this guardian. So here is another one. He's blocking a sight. So I even played in your colours, Chris. I played as red. I mean, could be a bit nicer. <laughs> uh, he gets no resources, so that's fine, she. So now I'm going to pay these costs to defeat this guardian. Uh, and each guardian defeated is five points at the end. So fear uh, will be the footprint. I will pay a coin and a uh, spearhead. And he, this uh, warthoggy looking beast just comes into my tableau. When I use it for the car, I just flip it over and I get five points, which is awesome. Um, so that's, that's my turn, overcoming a guardian. This guy will put out another spot um, and he's on the red one, so it's slightly, slightly harder apparently. He's gonna put out a uh, slot one and he'll always go lowest level when he's placing them out and to the right, so he's gonna take that there he needs a person there this one he hasn't collected this one yet so that's that is going to be three points for him annoyingly and it's round two so a guardian does come out the ai does not collect fear uh so yeah whenever so this guardian's defeat would take a player card and not use it for its actual ability a compass and a spearhead now i would like to get up the research track a little bit um but I'm also looking at the cards up here. Uh, what do I want? I could go there for a ruby. Or, well, I could do both if I do that. So I'm gonna play my pickaxe as an action. Uh, change a compass into a spear and a tablet. Then move across to here. He's gonna take another spot, the first free one. It's there that does coins. So now, I'm going to research with my um, oh, that's gone out again. With my compass, because my compass has to go first, and it costs a spear and a. I'll move the camera over while I do this, so bear with me. Bumpy ride, bumpy ride, bumpy ride. So it costs this. I'm going to move this up to there, and then I get this reward. Had I moved on to one with that, I would get that as well, and then just move it. So I'm going to get a coin from this. Uh, my next turn, I'm planning to move up to there and get my first assistant. That is what I'm planning to do. Uh, so we'll see if I manage to uh, set the camera up. How's that? We're all right, we're all right. It's not bad. So I need to get a coin and I get some points for that as well. So that's good. Over to the AI. So you can see already I'm on the second turn and already the AI is doing, uh, I'm lasting longer in what I do all my turns. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to beat this Guardian because the AI is gonna defeat this Guardian um, because that's what that means and they're on a site with a Guardian and the Guardian just flips over for them and goes there, but it does mean that they don't research, but they do get five points at the end. Uh, so now I'm gonna pay a Ruby to research again, this time with my book, moving it up to there, claiming a assistant and the assistant I'm gonna claim is this one, I can pay a coin for a spear at any time, and if I upgrade them, I pay a coin for a spear or a ruby, uh, and they sit on there and they just tap when they are used. Sorry about the reflection there. That's coming from my window, not my light. Ah, uh, let me just try something. Let me just try turning this light off. It might be bright enough without that, and you might lose some of the reflection there. There we go, that's better, isn't it? There we go. Can't do anything about this, because that is a natural window. Not a natural window, it's man-made. Uh, so this um, person will stay there until I choose to use them, um, which could be could be soon, because then I could get up another level. Oh no. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but I want to use a ruby. Then I can get a ruby. While I'm thinking about that, let's go here. Da, da. Uh, that person's going to block. So where are the people? There, yeah. That. Um, I could get a ruby. Oh, they're blocking that. I could get a ruby by going here. No, I can't, because I can't play a card and travel. Oh, I could if I use my beast. 
Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go like that, do that. I haven't got any people, so I can't go there. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? My options are to... Um, how do I think I could get a spear? Oh, with that woman. Let's do that. Let's change her, get a spear. That's a free action. So I could move up there and get two more compasses. Is there anything for two compasses? Oh, I've got a third here. Oh, we like it. We like it. Okay, we've got a plan. So I'm going to use, um, no, that's only one. I've read it wrong. I've read it wrong. It's just one. So that would only be two compasses through, uh, yeah. Um, could research, but don't want to, because I want a rube. A ruby. Can't dig, can't visit a site, because I've used my two workers. Haven't got enough coins to buy an item. Haven't got enough compasses to buy an artifact. Research, so I'm going to take the compass, may as well. And it's just whether I move up on this track. If I do it once, then I get another compass and I'll be stuck. I think I'm going to prioritise a ruby next time round is what I'm going to do. So at that point, I'm going to pass, play out two more actions. This is inconsequential, so it's a good one for me. And then uh, it's going to research and take out the person on the left. Uh, one of the, that's okay, I didn't want that person. Person below is actually better. So I'm going to shuffle up their stuff for the next round. Wasn't, I don't, I'm sitting around, they've got three, they've got at least 11 points at the minute. Another four from the research track. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I need to write this person. Get my guys back into camp, get her guys back into the water there. Uh, I need to shuffle these, put them under my deck, and then sort out the top of the board. And then we're into round three of five. So already past, coming up to the halfway point, um, we've been 26 minutes with a quick overview and me talking about every action I take. So you can see that you could play a solo game of this in uh, easily in half an hour, not including setup. Setup is a bit, uh, there's a bit to it, a little bit to it. It'll take a good five, ten minutes, so it's not too bad. Now I'll get my one, two, three, four, five cards. We will discard <laughs> this one and the dog. I would like the dog as well. Yeah, I should have looked at the dog. So there's a trick here with the deck building is I don't think you actually want to build too much because you're not going to get through them that quickly, although they do come into your hand quite quickly. But if you're looking to use a card multiple times, then th there's a question mark over whether you would want to get too many new ones. Uh, oh, why did I do that? I did that totally wrong because we were round three. So this moves along one more. This moves to here. This moves to here. And we have Three and three, that's what we have. Research with a discount of either, oh, yes, please, I want that. Um, watch him buy it straight away. So that's all done. We go to the, thank goodness, he's gone there. But I wanted a ruby, didn't I? So I will travel on boat. Thankfully, I can't. Uh, no, yeah, okay, I'll use that. To here. Grab a fear card. I haven't learned from the first game. I'm still grabbing fear. Take a uh, ruby and one of these. Then uh, over to the AI, who's blocking the compass spots. And they will go higher up first. Oh, actually, that's a good point. They would have blocked that one because they work down the board that time. Then I need a compass. So I will uh, research using my ruby that I've just got. I will move up to here with that. Gain this, uh, which is instant action, lets me scrap a card essentially. So I'm gonna scrap it, and it comes from your hand or from your uh, used pile. So I'm gonna scrap that fear out of the game, not out of the game, but into the fear pile. And I also get a compass, giving me the two compasses I need to make that purchase. 
unless it gets ruined right now by the AI. No, the AI is just blocking spaces. Okay, so now I'll make that purchase. Two of these for this card, which activates straight away. Research with a discount of either one spear or two uh, thingies. So I will use that to, I will take a discount of, uh, I have to get another spear if I do that, but that's okay because I can get spears from compasses, can't I? Yeah, I'll research, I'll go up to there because it's a sensible thing to do and just pay a spear, getting myself another compass. Uh, Oh, that works, that works, that works, good. And then I'll refresh. And then I'd like to get another assistant as well if I can. See what this tricky AI does. I've shuffled all the blocking ones in together. Still got an adventurer as well who could discover something potentially. I'm gonna play this card. Doesn't have a lightning bolt, so it's my whole action to pay this compass for a spear and a tablet there. Uh, then we're on to the AI go and they're going to research now and they're going to research to the right So they will go there get rid of that and they take the not the one I wanted. Thank goodness for that Ooh. Now I'm in a quandary That one's quite good uh, I'm gonna research for one of these and one of these Is that what I want to do? Yeah move that up to there and I get one of these. I'm going to take this guy here who for the price of a foot will get me a spear. However, when he's upgraded, he just gives me a spear. Um, then it is the AI here blocking a coin spot. Um, What do I want to do? Get some stuff. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go by foot to here and get two compasses. I haven't really looked at the cards this time round. So this card flips and he's gonna take this one away. Don't look at them, then you won't be disappointed when the ones you want go. Okay, so back to me. What was I going to use that for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could go up there for two spears, but he's on there. Otherwise, I want a coin, a tablet, and a spear. So I'm going to, right, I'm going to use my fear to turn this guy over and get a spear. Uh, that's a free action. Then for another free action, I'm going to get a coin. And then for a research action, I'm going to use the coin, the tablet, and the spear to go up. That gets me one of these, uh, and because of the level, it gets me a um, compass as well. So now I'm like that, which is good. Uh, uh, is it worth doing that? Not yet, not yet. And I then do the AI. Sorry, I got a bit lost uh, passing the board. So we're on round three. It's a round three explanation, so it's level one. Uh, they will go here. They don't have the tablet one, which is annoying. Um, and no beast comes out. But that was a good spot. I'll be hitting that spot up. I'll tell you something. Then it's back to me. Did I have anything I can do? If I could get a ruby, I could do that. Don't think I can get ruby. I can't do any placements. Um, oh, yeah, on that. I wanted that war mask, didn't I? That will get me another spear. Spears are good. Are they that good? It's also one point. Or that parrot, if I could get another coin, would get me... Well, hang on, I can get a ruby, but then I can't get a coin. Huh. Right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my relic on my player board up to this spot for going a point to get a coin and a compass. Uh, that's a free action, and I'm going to use these two coins to purchase a parrot because the parrot allows me to play a card for a ruby, 
Uh, that one goes on the bottom of my deck. So hopefully we'll get that card out next. And then I'm just going to shift along the stuff while I decide if I'm doing anything else. Uh, this guy beats monster. There's no monsters, so he explores, uh, researches. Sorry, um, that will get me a spear. Don't gain fear from monsters this round. Uh, and one point. Uh, spears are always good. Or I could save it to do a explore next round and get a monster out. Well. Let's let's just buy it. Let's just buy it. Let's just buy it. Let's buy the war mask. I feel like I bought too many cards. <laughs> Again, <laughs> when there's only one of you, it's uh, interesting. So this activates. I get a spear. Does that mean I can move up? It does mean I can move up. Oh yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to upgrade a researcher as well. They are taking the chi the least points card of uh oh there's only one there's one worth it one point so that's easy don't need a direction for that uh then it's me i am gonna spend 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 here we go we're moving my book up which lets me upgrade a researcher i will upgrade this one to the gold side and they refresh so then i'm going to use them straight away to get a spear uh that guy's got nothing left can I go up again? Can I afford to? No, I can't afford to. So that will be the end of my turn two. I'm passing. Uh, let's do this bit first because I forgot last time. Move that down. Get rid of these two. Move up the monkey medallion on the Pathfinder's staff. And we put out two more star charts and serpent's gold. Then we remove everyone from the board. Get these people off. Got a new site, which is quite a good one. Gets me a sixth card in my hand. Uh, refresh my peoples. Uh, done the exiling. Shuffle these cards up, and then I need to shuffle up the AI's action deck. So this is quite a smooth. I'm often put off solo modes by the kind of um, what's it called. I want to say uh, the, the flabbiness. So, you know, like the extra steps you need to take, the pain of um, just managing another person as well as thinking of what you're doing. This, so far in my two games, has been a really good system. And I'm using three out of the five more complicated actions that you can do. And that's nice as well that they put. They give you uh, extra actions. Um, I think so far, so this is my second solo play. Uh, solo does imitate a two-player game in many ways, although there is far more blocking in a solo game because the AI will use all six of the other architects, whereas in a two-player game, you would only uh, be against someone who has two architects, so there'd be less blocking. Um, but I can see it scaling well, uh, different rewards go out, different spots are used. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this with actual people. So he she is going to block a ruby spot. I need five cards. I can't remember what I was planning to do. Ooh, look at that card. Gives you a fear and four coins. Uh, and so far this has played out very different to last night. Last night I had more relics, I'd done more exploring. Um, I don't think I was as far up the track. Uh, this uh, AI had much more things going on. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I need a car travel. Do you know what? I'm going to use my... my. And this time I'm going to use my beast, my guardian that I destroyed early, overcame. So now he's on my side. It's a peaceful game. To travel up here... Grab a new card from a deck and grab a spearhead. Interesting, interesting. Um, very interesting, that is. Very interesting. Uh, so <laughs> he's going to research this way, take that off, um, and do nothing else. 
Right. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, child. Right, I'm going to play my para. Remember the para I got? Need to pop a card down, pop fear down, and I can grab a ruby. Then the AI comes into play. It's round four, and it's going to be a level two. And the one on the right, uh, this is where she will collect some points as well. So that one, the full three there, that one goes there, so it'll only be worth two. The level, so a monster does come out as well, which they will probably defeat later on for another five points. It's a good spot though, Ruby and a spear. Now, if I played that, I could go up there for, oh, yes. But uh, should I wait, should I try and get up there? with a coin and then do it to there. Yes, I should. That would be far better. So have I got any way of getting a coin? Yep, using that one for free to get a coin. Ish bash bosh. Then I'm gonna research with a coin and a ruby. Uh, move my magnifying glass up to here. I get a compass over to the AI who is now in my plans. That will take away that one, draw a card from the bottom of your deck. Ugh. See how big the board is when I'm going straight. Actually, it's in two parts. This part could be placed elsewhere, but your compasses do start on this one. Um, I could place that off to the side, and maybe I should off the streaming. Sorry. Um, so then, then I'm going to play this, uh, pay for it with this, but get a discount of two uh, tablets, pay one spear. Move up to here, I get this tablet back, and I also, not I'm also level with the fool, but I also get to draw another card, which is all part of my cunning plan. So we're over to the AI, and I'm starting to combo now. You should be scared. Uh, top one was spear on the left side. Uh, that's a point. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. I am now going to play my rope, which means I have to discard another card to draw two. So I'm rattling through this deck like a man possessed. Okay, okay. That is good, that is good. Um, AI is going to take the lowest point artifacts. Don't need to use the arrow, although it would have been the same. And they move down, should be looking at these really. That lets you write a uh, person. Oh yeah, if I can get him up. Another spear would do it. Uh, okay, a ruby would be better. Can I get a ruby? A ruby, 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 ruby. Yeah, I can with a bow. Let's do it. Taking the fear again. Am I, am I doing that? Yeah, why not? Take the fear, get a tumbler, get a ruby. Over to you. You ooh, you would have blocked that as well. Uh, there. Okay. Um, we are going to research, I believe. Yeah, we are. I'm going to research with a this and this with my book. Um, which gets me a coin, which I use to get another spear. She's like that, but as a result of this, I can flip her over and write her up again, which means I can now use coins for rubies or spears. So my ruby spears production is good. Um, if I can get a couple of coins now, I'll be laughing. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Well, let's change the tablet into spear. So we're gonna do, see what the AI does. Kills the monster, oh my goodness. That's gonna be like 10 points for them for the blooming AI. Stupid, stupid. Old rope, can I, oh, a coin, I need a coin. Is there any way for me to get a coin? Um, no. Uh, or a ruby. Can I get if I get a coin? I get a ruby. 
I need one more as well. Anna, I need a coin. A spear and a thingy. Right, let's just let's just use that. Change this into these. So I'm well speared up here. Well speared up. And then we'll go to the AI. I'm thinking about my options and the choices I've made. Blocking a coin one, I should have gone to a coin, but then I wouldn't have been able to do that, you see. Then I'll do this, uh, sorry, this one, uh, which cost me one of these, but I get a spear. So I, I wish I was scoring points for spears at the end, but um, they're going to be handy in the next round, which is the last round. The AI here flips over, inconsequential, but we'll go there. Is there anything I can do? Don't think there is. I don't think. Um, I'm going to need to get some. Ru I'm going to have to ruby focus. All right, ruby focus. Really focus on those rubies. What do we want to see? We really want to see those rubies. We really want to see those rubies. So I've just set up for the last round, and we're clocking in at the 45 minute point. So you can see again. Um, you will easily be able to solo this in um, half an hour, half an hour, easily. Uh, let's flip you over there, move you down, last round. There's big points available at the top of the temple as well, which is um, the, uh, the AI would probably get there, if I'm honest. But we'll see. Coconut flask. That refresh could become important because uh, these are all ones you can use instantly for free. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. The item over here would just be for the points. It's two coins to two points though, so that is fair enough. We need to shuffle these. I would like to draw some extra cards, but I don't want that spear. Oh, I don't want, I've got loads of fear as well. Rubies are what I want. Ruby, 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 ruby. Oh, if I go up there, I get three compasses. Three compasses, and that would give me a lot of relics. A lot of, um, not relics, yeah. We shall see, we shall see what I do. Okay, that will do for yours, for mine. We shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I defeated more beasts by last time. I'm worried about the beast uh, section of the point scoring. I'm fearful that I have not defeated enough uh, beasts, basically. Beasts. And they go under here and I get five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I need some coins as well. That is true. I do need coins. Let's uh, go and block the first ruby space. No, nope, that's up there. Oh, I forgot about that one as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Worst hand ever. Uh, well, let's... Why did I want coins? Because I need a coin and I need a ruby. If I get a coin, I can turn a coin into a ruby there. So let's get a coin uh, by placing this guy here. Or do I just get two coins? No, that's that's more efficient. Then I'm going to spend one of those coins using this power to get a ruby. And then I'm going to think about my life choices. <laughs> Ooh. Got a bounce up there. I need to, uh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, you're removing that one to there. Uh, irrelevant, two points you've just got, you swine. Uh, so I could get another coin through that as well. If I research and get a compass, I'd be on 16 points and I'd be one away. I'm getting a 23. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do Ruby. Hang on. No. Let's do Coin, Tablet, Spearhead. 
and move me up to there, getting myself a compass, and that's my turn. Blocking, I'm happy for you to block. Now, coin ruby will get me three compasses, but if I get a coin, I get 23 points and one of those. So I'm gonna use this to get a coin, which I'm gonna use in the final step of the temple's cost there to get up there. And I can choose one of these, a coin or exchange. I'm going to take the exchange. The exchange lets you, oh no, I don't think I'm going to say this. I think you can only change a tablet into a ruby or a spear and not a spear into, I don't think you can change. That's the worst iconography in the game, I think. Oh no, 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 I was right. It's perfect iconography. I will change a spear into a ruby. <laughs> Apologies. So there we go. That's made me happy again, if I can get a coin, um, which at the minute I can't. And at the minute I'm really stuck with what I can do, which is very annoying. Um... Oh yeah, I can get six points from up there, so that's pretty good. Right, see what this guy can do. He's gonna, she, he's gonna go there. Got this person, but they can only go to foot step places, which are these bottom ones. Um, and that would cost me a fear, so none of those let me grab a new card. Do any of these things let me draw a new card? No. Uh, well, I think I will just take the tablet one just because they're a bit more useful for researching and I might be able to do... If I can get a coin, I can afford the 11 bonus points which might just seal it. So, uh, here, popping out a new thing and it will be... Oh, He's already got that one, so that one goes there. Tons of points for this swine. And it's not like I can even use it because, oh, no, it's a good one. Oh, I couldn't have traveled there anyway. Uh, right, gaining it. No, I'm on the wrong side of the player aid. Just going to double check the options that are available to me. And see, dig. No, can't dig. Discover. No, I can't discover. No guardians to overcome. Buy an item. I've got no coins. Buy an artifact. I've not got enough compasses. Play a card. I've only got fear. Research. I can research. And this is what I'm deciding. So uh, if I research there, I'll get three. Okay. But I can't research there because I haven't got a coin. Ah! That would have got me what I needed. Um, so I can definitely get six points up here, but if I get one coin, one coin, <laughs> I can't, blooming heck. Uh, right, 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 right. Let's, the sensible thing for me to do is to pay a ruby, a spear, and a compass to get another six points from this top temple. Uh, and then see, oh, this this is awful. I've still got loads of things. Blocking coins. Well, there's no coins to block, so ha 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 ha. I don't want to pass. I don't want to pass. I can get another spear. Does that help me? No. I'd like to change some stuff. Too much fear. Took too much fear. Does that help me? No. Use my singular relic too soon. Um, so it looks like I'm passing because I've only got two fear to use. I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, I need a coin or a compass. There's no way for me to get either. So yeah, we just play out the AI and see by how many points I get smashed. Research, uh, that side. So my lead on the research is diminishing. Take the lowest scoring, so that's going to be a one-pointer. Thank goodness for that. Uh, doesn't uh, technically there. 
technically not there, technically there. And oh, researching, he gets his 21 points. Annoying, annoying. So now all that's left to do is to tally up the points. So let's do that by uh, moving some things and putting this on the main screen. Let's do that main screen. And then let's pop me in there. Not like that. Make me a square. A square. So we'll do uh, Billy Billy Bobs. Uh, what do we call her? Let's call her Susan McBiscuit. That's the AI's name in this game. Susan McBiscuit. So first thing we look at is, um, you see my terrible score the other day, is the research track. So they got up to 21 points and I got up to 23 with my compass and four with my uh, workbook, so I'm on 27. Good, good, good. I actually got a temple reward this time, so I get another six there. Now, here's where it starts going wrong. I get from my relics three, four, five, uh, oh, that's not too bad, six, seven, eight, 12. I got 13 the other day, they got 19. They get 3, 12, uh, and then these are all worth 2, so another 6, so they get 18. Oh, I put the wrong score, so 12 there, 18 there. Next is Beasts, and that is 2, so that's 10. Here we go, it's not looking good, versus my singular uh, 5. Then it is going to be Cards, uh, so... It's easy to do the AIs because they only have point scoring cards. Oh, they've not done as well as I thought they would. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I won the seven. I wonder if I've cheated them out of some cards in my haste there. I'm not going to review it too heavily, but I think I may have cheated them out of some cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points. I think they should have at least ten cards. Never mind. I'm sure um, I'm sure what I've done is scrap some cards. I think that's what I've done. My cards are a little bit more complicated because we have to uh, delve in here. I don't think I've done enough. I think they've already caught me back up. I've not bought loads of cards and I've taken loads of the negative scoring fear. So I think this is going to be futile. So I've already got minus three. Uh, we've got positive there, positive there, positive there. No, no, no. Oh, well, it's less fear than I thought. So one, two, three, four, five positive and uh, four negative. So five minus four. So let's see what we have. Uh, no, we'll just go full face. <laughs> 21 add 18 is uh, 39, 49, 56 plays, 33, 41, 51, 61 minus 4, 57! I won by a point! I won by a point! On three star difficulty! That is the Lost Ruins of Arnak available to pre order. Right now on Zatu, do go check it out. Any questions, just ask in the comments. Thanks for joining me. Well, thanks for watching that. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Twitch. We will be live streaming weekly uh, the video for video games and board games. If you've enjoyed this video, do like and subscribe to our channel, remembering to hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. See you again.